let us look at some equation, or uh, linear equation with fractions. So whenever you have uh, a fraction or an equation with a fraction, uh, students tend to know, tend to get confused and do all sorts of things. So I just want to explain. This is basically like fractions. So when you're dealing fractions, suppose let me talk about fractions. So those are not confident in fractions. Say one half plus say three fifth. You want to add one and one half and three fifth. So what you do is you have to make the bottom numbers equal. Okay, or the you have to find the least common multiple or the least common divisor. Or we'll in short we'll say the common denominator. We want to make the denominators equal. So the easiest way to find the common denominator is to multiply these two numbers. So we'll say okay, that is two times five, which is ten. So I want to make both the denominators 10. So I'll write 1 half. Most of you should know this, but this, uh, this is only revision uh, of adding fractions. So I want to make this 2 into a 10. So I, what should I multiply this by? So I should multiply this by 5. So you do the same thing to the top number. And here to make this a 10, I'll have to multiply by 2. So the same thing to the top number. So what will happen? The top numbers will change, the bottom numbers will change to 10. So this becomes, this is 5 over 10 plus 6 over 10, which is 11 over 10. Now, how did I get 11? That is, let me do one step more, which is nothing but 5 plus 6 over, this is plus 6 over 10 which is 11 over 10. Of course, this can be written as a mixed number, so I'm leaving this as the answer. So the same approach we are going to apply here. So I'm going to make, I want to make the denominators 10, the same thing. The denominators are 2 and 5 here. Let us not worry about this 2 on the right-hand side. So I'm going to write like this. So this is x minus 1, x minus 1, over 2. Let me write the whole thing. This bracket is important because later on uh, this bracket will be helpful when you're opening the brackets. So I want to make this a 10. So I have to multiply this by, so let me use a different color. So I'll have to multiply this denominator by 5. So if you multiply this denominator by 5, you have to do the same thing to the numerator. So you have to multiply the numerator with also 5. So basically what we are doing, we are doing nothing in fact. You're dividing by 5 and multiplying by 5. That means you're cancelling each other out. So this this, and this are the same. So you have to multiply by 2. So you do the same thing to the top number. So now this becomes 5. Let me use my bl blue color. So this is 5. I'm doing more steps so that you understand. 5 times x minus 1 over 10 plus 2 times x plus 2 over 10. Okay, I should have written here 2. I forgot 2 years. I wrote 2. This is equal to 2. So now I have to expand this bracket. This is 5 times x and 5 times negative 1. So 5 times x is 5x and 5 times negative 1 is negative 5. I will leave this in the bracket plus I'm multiplying by 2 so this is 2 times x is 2x and 2 times 2 is 4 over uh, okay so I can I'll write this is 10 over 10 you don't need to do all these steps I'm doing more steps so that you understand now the denominators are equal so you can add the numerators so this is 5x minus 5 Again, I'll leave this in the bracket, plus 2x plus 4 over 10 is equal to 2. Okay, so now I'll expand this. So this is 5x minus 5 plus 2x plus 4 over 10. 
students do not like to do these many steps and they end up doing uh, silly mistakes. So this is what I want to avoid. So I'm going to group the like terms. I'll write this next step as 5x plus 2x minus 5 plus 4 over 10 is equal to 2. Now this is again one mistake you can do. You write 5x minus 2x. This is not 5x minus 2x. Minus goes with this 5. So this is 5x and this plus goes with this 2x. That's why I wrote 5x plus 2x and minus 5x plus 4. Okay. So now this will become 5x plus 7x. 2x is 7x. Take away 1 over 10 is equal to 2. Okay, let me finish off this here. Okay, so now we are very close to the answer. So this is, now at this stage, you have to get rid of this 10. Now, I, because if you think about the left-hand side, to simplify the left-hand side, the first thing that you have to do is you have to times it by 7. X has to be multiplied by 7, then take away 1. And the final thing that you do is divide by 10. So whatever you do last has to be undone first. So this 10 is divided by, so you have to do the opposite to undo the division of 10. So I'm going to multiply, the next step I'm going to write 7x minus 1 in the bracket, 7x minus 1 in the bracket. I'm going to multiply the numerator by 10. So if you multiply the numerator or this by 10 on this one left hand side, it also multiply the right hand side by 10. Okay, so either you do it on the numerator or denominator, or if you only want to do on the numerator, on one side you have to do on the numerator of the other side. So what happens, this and this gets cancelled. So what remains is 7x minus 1 is equal to 20 is equal to 20. Now I want to get rid of this negative 1, so I have to do the opposite of negative 1, which is positive 1, so to add plus 1 to this side. So what will happen? Now you've got two sides again, so this, is, this and this gets cancelled. This is 7 times x is equal to 21. And finally this is 7 times x, so I'm going to divide this side by 7, divide this side by 7. So 21 divided by 7 is 3. Now this is your answer. But always check your answer by putting this back into the question or the equation. So let us put this back into the question. So x is 3. So let me do so 3 minus 1 over 2 plus 3 plus 2 over 5. So first you have to take away and then divide. So 3 minus 1 is 2 over 2 plus 5 over 5, which is 1 plus 1, which is equal to 2. And that's your right-hand side. So you can be pretty proud that you got the correct answer. So you can give yourself a star. Okay, moving on to the next question. Okay, one more question. I'll do this quite fast than the previous question. So what I'm going to do is, I want to get rid of this 3 and 2. I want to make the denominators, I want to make the denominators uh, equal. Okay, okay, so let me do this in a different way in this example. So if I want to get rid of this 3 and 2 from the denominator, what can I do? I'm going to multiply the whole thing by 6. So I'll show you. So this is 6 times x plus 3. Whatever you do to all the terms is acceptable. If you do something to all the terms in algebra or in maths, so I'm going to do, I multiplied all the numerator by 6. That is perfectly allowed. So basically, you're multiplying each of them. So each of the party, this are, these are three parties in this equation. You've got two parties on the left-hand side and there's one person on the, or one party on the right-hand side. 
So while I'm saying, okay, this has, this is a two, sorry. This is a two. This is a different way of doing it. Okay, now this is three goes in three ones and this is called cancellation. So three goes in three. Oh, let me do this in a different way. Okay. So this is same as six. Can I write this as three times two times x plus three over three? Plus this three again I can write as three times two. Or I can, I'm going to write two times three. 3 times 2 is same as 2 times C3, so 2 times 3 times x minus 4 over 2 is equal to 24, is equal to 24. Okay, now what will happen? So, can you see this and this gets cancelled, this 3 and this 3 gets cancelled, this 2 and 2 gets cancelled. So, this is 2 times, so this is 2 times this has become a simple linear equation. 2 times x plus 3 plus 3 times x minus 4 is equal to 24. Now you may wonder where did I get the 6 from? The 6 I got from 3 times 2 is 6. So 3 and 2 goes in 6. So that's why I multiplied the whole thing by 6. So now I'd expand this bracket. So 2 times x is 2x plus 2 times 3 is 6, plus 3 times x is 3x, and 3 times negative 4 is negative 12, is equal to 24. So I'll group the like terms, so this is 2x plus 3x, plus 6, take away 12, is equal to 24. So this is, this is can be simplified, and this can be simplified. So this is 5x take away 6 is equal to 24. Now I have to cancel this plus negative 6. So the opposite of negative 6 is plus 6. So this is plus 6 to both sides. So now this becomes 5x. This and this gets cancelled is equal to 24 plus 6 is 30. So to get rid of get rid of this phi, to divide this side by phi, same thing to this side. So x is equal to six. X is equal to six. Now does the answer make sense? You have to check yourself. Okay, or check your answer by putting the answer back into the equation. So I'll do this first. So six plus three. So let us do that. Six plus three over three plus 6 minus 4 over 2, which is 9 over 3 plus 2 over 2. So this is 9 over 3 is 3 plus 1, which is 4. And lo and behold, that is your, that is what you want. So again, you are, you got this right, so you can give yourself a smiley face.